Hey guys, a long time no see, <laughs> or at least it feels like a long time. It has been a minute since I like picked up the camera and filmed, like it's been over a week. And yeah, uh, it's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you uh, without a dope beat to step to, okay? If you know you a real one. But anyways, yeah, so it's been a minute. I feel a little awkward, I don't know why, but um, yeah, it's been a little minute. I took a little a little break. I, I didn't mean to take as long as a uh, as long of a break as I did. I think when you guys saw, I posted on Sunday onto the community post on YouTube, and no, that was on Tuesday. So you guys know there wouldn't be a video, and that I would be uploading a video on Thursday. Well, obviously Thursday came and went, and there was no video. I don't know. Last week, I just. I started vlogging, if you guys saw my, um, the last video I posted was a work, like a few work days in my life, and I started vlogging, and by Wednesday, I think Wednesday was the last day that I vlogged for that video, and after that, I was just like, I don't know, I was just like not in the mood, and it's not that I was like in a bad mood, or that I was like feeling down, or anything like that, I think I was just in a little bit of like a creative burnout between all the creative stuff that I'm doing at work and then YouTube, I think I had just kind of like gotten a little burnt out creatively. Uh, so I just wanted to take a break, like just take a little moment and kind of just relax and not do anything, like not worry about filming, editing, but I'm trying not to beat myself up. If I feel like I need to take a break, I need to take a break. And so I took a break for a few days from YouTube and I, feel much better and I feel like I'm ready to come back and get back to the you know vlogging and all of that um now I need a break from my real job <laughs> because I've been working my ass off so I'm hoping to take a day off very soon from there so so yeah so obviously as you can see if you don't follow me on Instagram then you don't know this but obviously I got my hair done <laughs> um Melissa my bestie she came up love her so much for doing these braids for me I mean she killed it like they look so good I love them so much obviously I have them up in this big ass bun I'm about to take it down <laughs> um but I just have them up because when I get in the shower and stuff like obviously I put it in a bun if you don't follow me on Instagram you should also hi welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new here my name is Jasmine I make all types of lifestyle content here on this channel from vlogs to hauls routine videos so if you like that type of content definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button also go ahead and hit the notification bell that way you know every time I upload a new video here on my channel typically I upload videos on Sundays Tuesdays and Thursdays that is my typical upload uh that's my typical upload schedule so we getting back to it this week so it is 8 37 a.m and as you can see I am dressed um it's Saturday what is today Saturday, March 6th. So I'm up early because I need to run a few errands. So this morning I want to go run my car through the car wash real quick. I don't really know if it's gonna do a whole lot cause that thing is filthy, but hopefully it helps a little bit. So I'm gonna run my car through the car wash. Um, gonna stop and get gas. I'm going to make a return to Target real quick. And then I need to go get my car inspect it and I need to get my tires rotated and balanced so I get that done at two different places um, I get my car inspected usually I just take it to like Jiffy Lube or something and then I get my car my tires rotated and balanced um, at discount tire just because they do it for free because that's where I buy my tires from so all the tire rotations are free there so that's where I'm going so that's what we're doing this morning and then me and Jordan have an appointment to get our nails done at 12 um my nails really are not grown out that much you but guys probably can't see my nails really haven't grown out that much um but y'all this length is just too long for me it's I knew it when I got it two weeks ago that it was going to be too long and and honestly it's not even that it's too long when I'm typing. It's more so when I'm texting or like trying to do stuff on social media. Like these nails just get in the way and it's annoying. So today <laughs> I'm definitely getting them cut down. I think I'm also going to go for a square tip. I love the almond. I love like an almond shape. So cute. But I think I'm going to go for a square tip today and just switch it up and probably just do like a a blank color it'll probably be some sort of nude neutral color because that's my lane and that's where I like to live so yeah so gonna get my nails done that like I said that appointment isn't until 12 which is why I'm up early trying to run all of these errands so that way I make sure I have enough time but yeah so I'm about to walk Cannon I'm gonna start my car 
and then when i come back i'm gonna take my hair down and i'll give you guys like a quick ootd situation and then we are gonna head out all right y'all so i wanted to show y'all my ootd for today so oh and also show you the length of my hair it's like waist length so really long and i'm obsessed i love them so much um so yeah so this is the ootd so this top I feel like it's from Target years ago, you guys, like years ago. These jeans are Ava and Viv, and I'm pretty sure I bought them like years ago because I haven't worn them in a long time, but you guys know I've been losing weight, so I'm able to fit into them again. And actually, they're a little bit too big, but I think they're really cute because I feel like this style, this like, they kind of fit like mom jeans now, and I feel like that style is in, so... Um, these shoes I ordered last summer from um, some Instagram boutique. I don't even remember. I don't remember exactly which one, but I just thought that they were fun. And then I have on this linen, like, I guess it's like a linen cardigan or trench coat, I guess you could call it. Um, it's from H&M. And then I'm carrying my little black Prada dupe bag that I got from Ross. I don't know if I showed you guys this or not, but... Yeah, this is a really cute dupe for that Prada, what's it called? The Prada 1995 something bag. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is was from Ross and it was like $14. And I'm ready to go run my errands. So I will check in with you guys in a few. can see I'm back home so I just left from discount tire I got my um got my tires rotated balanced tires still look good these tires have held up really nicely like I got these tires like four years ago um but you guys know like when I got back once I moved back to Greensboro um I mean I just wasn't driving I don't drive that much I don't really go long distances in my car that often because I don't like to put my car on the highway she's older and I have like a fear of breaking down on the road even though she hasn't given me any trouble over the last few years like I went through a rough patch with my car where like every time I turned around she needed like a lot of work so yeah like I'm surprised at how well those tires have held up because I got like the cheapest tires whenever I did purchase those um but they've been doing good again like I said I really don't go anywhere like that so that's probably why um but yeah I wanted to get my tires rotated and balanced because um on Monday I have to get up early and I had to meet my mom because this guy say hello oh he just wants belly rubs anyways Ke uh Cannon is going to my mom's house for a week so I have to meet her Monday morning and like I said I knew it was time for a tire rotation and stuff but I definitely wanted to make sure I did that before I had to get on the highway so I'm home now and I'm just sitting here drinking a protein shake because I did not eat anything before I left and it's like I said it's after 11 now and I need to have something um I could have made something to eat but I just wanted to make sure that I like get my protein in today that's the one thing I will say about like weight loss surgery and stuff like that um it's just like you really have to plan like on days where like you're gonna leave the house and stuff like that like you really have to plan like food snacks like bring stuff with you because um otherwise like you don't want to like get stuck with like being out and having to like try to grab something healthy-ish from like fast food so and the only fast food stuff that I've had so far is Chick-fil-A and that's because like I can get the grilled chicken nuggets or I get the like a grilled filet um so that's the only fast food type of place that I've had and just because it's easy to like know like okay here's some grilled chicken nuggets that I know I can have and like won't bother me or anything like that but yeah that is definitely like 
the one thing I will say. It's just like having to plan out like food and stuff and then trying to be mindful of like how much protein you're getting because I have to get at least 60 grams of protein in every day. And sometimes that's really hard. Like sometimes that is really, really hard. So I haven't talked about it much. I told y'all guys in my video that I that I posted about the weight loss that I wasn't going to hit you guys over the head with weight loss journey talk and all of that because I feel like, uh, like I said in that video, weight loss is very personal. My experience may not be someone else's experience and I'm not trying to tell anybody what they should or should not do. I believe everybody has agency over their own bodies. You should be able to do whatever you want with your body, whether that's surgery, whether that's gain weight, lose weight, it's your body, it's your life, do you. Um, um, so I don't ever and I like I told you guys then this channel will never be a weight loss health and fitness channel this is a lifestyle channel and I just simply share with you guys things that are going on in my life my lifestyle if anything changes or if I'm using or doing anything that I feel like is relevant enough to share with you guys and I will share that and it's hard and obviously like this is a big lifestyle change for me so whenever there's little things like this that i feel inclined to share i will share them so march 15th will officially make three months post-op so so far things have been going good i haven't had any sort of weird complications or anything weird um that has happened everything has been pretty good so so yeah it's 11 18 i'm gonna finish drinking this and like i said me and jordan's nail appointment is at 12 so I need to text her, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna come pick me up and then we're gonna head over there. The nail salon is literally right across the street, basically. It's like right down the street from where we both live, so it doesn't even take long to get there. Chick-fil-A which took a while because <laughs> the line was super long and now we are at the outlet we don't need anything we're just gonna look and find out what needs us so I'll check on with you guys in a little bit when we get somewhere from I thought I would try it out I'm sitting on the floor in my bedroom and actually I like this look it's kind of cute so we might be filming more videos from my bedroom floor so it is much later it is 6 57 um, I think the last thing I vlogged was when we first got to the outlets I believe um, that's Canon down here get out of there I've been home for a little while now like I got home after six I think I actually got home before that um, Jordan dropped me off and then I left back out because I had to go pick up an order that I placed somewhere I'll show you guys that in a minute so like I said I've been home since a little after six and um, I just changed into some nice comfy clothes I took off my makeup did my um, skincare and I just feel super refreshed and relaxed and ready to chill out for the rest of the night to be honest with you guys but i want to show you what i got first so i had an amazon package waiting for me when i got home so i figured i'd just show you guys what's in here it's really nothing exciting uh, at all um first and foremost i had to restock on my dogs like 
water additive this is just like a dental water additive for tartar control so yeah this just helps with like the tartar buildup on his teeth and stuff like that so i just add this to his water along with like his breath freshening drops that i add to his water as well and honestly i really feel like it has helped the last time um he got his teeth cleaned um the vet which was like in january the vet said that his teeth looked really good so I do like this it is arm and hammer brand so yeah just had to restock on that so yeah i got this dr teal's uh relax and relief bubble bath um i've been wanting to take i told you guys like a minute ago that i just been wanting to take bubble baths and so i got the like sleep bubble bath like the lavender vanilla i think it's lavender vanilla it might be a different one <laughs> from bath and body works i got that and then i decided just for like any other like regular day this would be really good because it has the epsom salt and you guys know i've been working out and stuff so i feel like this will be really really good i would love i would have loved to take a bath today to be honest but i also don't really feel like doing all that so um yeah very excited to try this out i hear nothing but great things about dr teal so excited for that next up i picked up some art y'all i'm like obsessed with this stuff but it's it's just really good so it's the um nuts and more like protein peanut uh protein peanut butter these are so freaking good the birthday cake one has been my favorite one so far also i just get these off of amazon i don't know if they sell them in stores anywhere but the birthday cake was definitely my favorite i tried the um what was it uh the cookie butter flavor not really i mean it wasn't bad but it wasn't that great um and then most recently i tried the white chocolate pretzel i think is what it was that one was really good so i like the birthday cake more than that one but that one was really good so this time i decided to try the toffee crunch and yeah this just is a really good like i have a big sweet tooth and since I've had surgery and everything, I haven't had any like real sweets or sugar or anything like that. Um, so I've been trying to find other like substitutes, just like healthier options for sweets. And um, this is definitely one of my favorites just because um, for two tablespoons, it's 14 grams of fat, but I mean, most of the fat is coming from nuts. And so fat from nuts are usually considered healthier fats. Um, they're not like, the greatest but they're not the worst either um but aside from that it has um it only has four net carbs and it has 11 grams of protein which is really really good and that's for like i said for two tablespoons which probably doesn't seem like a lot but honestly it really is and i just normally eat these <laughs> i just normally grab a tablespoon and eat like a tablespoon at a time and then maybe i'll have the other um tablespoon later um but yeah i just really love this stuff it's just so good well i've never tried this flavor toffee nut crunch it sounds amazing so we'll see how that tastes and then last but not least i picked up like a little desk humidifier that's what it looks like um because my nose has just been so dry lately y'all like it's just been dry to the point where it's like irritating me how dry it is and i think it has a lot to do with the seasons are starting to change here in north carolina so it's cold in the morning and then it's like warmer during the day and it, the temperatures drop back down at night and i just think you know my nose i think it's just like a part of my allergies but yeah i thought it would be good just to have like a little humidifier that i could leave at my desk while i'm working or um i can even put it on my nightstand for at night when i'm sleeping um i don't know how to open this guy so but i'm like definitely gonna be using it like probably as soon as tonight because um i need some relief like my nose is so irritated and it's so annoying so yeah so that is everything that i got from amazon so i told you guys jordan dropped me off and then i didn't even come in the house i just literally got in my car and ran out because i had to swing by the apple store and pick up something that i ordered from there and that was airpods finally 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 i got me some freaking airpods you guys i have been wanting airpods for the longest i have just been putting it off i don't know it's just one of those things where like you know where you want something and like you could easily buy it for yourself but it's just one of those things where you kind of like want someone else to buy it for you i've always just been like waiting for other people to buy these for me and clearly no one cares about me enough so i bought them myself <laughs> just kidding but no honestly it was just one of those things that i i would i couldn't like justify the purchase and i was like i mean i don't really want to spend that much on 
little airpods i'm totally fine with my regular like earphones and then i have a pair of beats um like the over like the over ear beats as well wireless beats but i really only i don't ever use those if i'm being honest like the few times that i have used them um i've used them in the gym i've used them i mean this was years ago i've used them in the gym i use them like when i would travel but i just feel like these are so much more convenient the only thing i'm nervous about is potentially losing them so that is the only thing I'm nervous about, but I'm gonna try my hardest not to do that. So yeah, very excited to have these. Now I gotta go online and like find me a cute little case for them. But anyways, I will set those up in a little bit. Okay, so next let's talk about what I got from the outlets, which it wasn't anything exciting or anything like that. We went into Old Navy and from Old Navy, I got two more pairs of, you guessed it, workout leggings because that's literally all I buy these days. It's workout clothes and lounge clothes. The leggings were 50% off. So yeah, so basically I got two pairs of leggings for the price of one, which was really nice. These are just their extra high rise leggings and I got them in this like really pretty rusty burnt orange color. The camera is definitely not showing the color the way it is. Like they're definitely more burnt orange and they look pink on camera, but. So yeah, I got those and then I got the same pair of leggings, the extra high rise leggings. I got them in this sort of pretty, I think it's like snake skin sort of print. Yeah, so this is the print. That's what it looks like, really pretty. So yeah, that's everything that I got from Old Navy, just two pair of leggings. And then we also went in the Gap and from the Gap I just got one thing and that was this um, like zip up, what is this called? Like a white zip up sweater pullover type situation. I don't have like a white hoodie or like pullover. So I thought that I would just grab this and I don't remember how much this was. I think it was 50% off. Yeah, it was $24.99. So yeah, that's literally all that I got. More active wear, comfy clothes. I mean, that's just pretty much what I live in these days. So yeah, at this point, I'm just about to eat some dinner and chill out for the rest of the night. I need to catch up on like Good Trouble and Grownish from Preform. Love both of those shows. So I need to catch up on those. So I think I'm gonna do that while I eat my dinner and I'm just gonna relax and chill out for the rest of the night. I don't know if I'm vlogging tomorrow. I don't know what all I have in this vlog. So I'll have to start editing this to see. So I'll either continue the vlog tomorrow and I'll see you guys tomorrow or I'm going to end the vlog right here. And if I do, then thank you guys so much for watching. It feels really good to get back into the swing of things. And I'm excited for all the content that's coming to the channel. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.